Yes. Uh huh. Okay, I'll, I'll hold. Yeah, well, I've been holding for 20 minutes, but that's typical. Let's see about you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm looking for Dr. Cockerham. Yes, Dr. Cockerham. You don't have a Dr. Cockerham. That doesn't make any sense. I'm uh, looking right here, and it says Dr. Terry Cockerham. Fine. Um, how about uh, Tanya Tanya Branham? I know you have a Tanya Branham. She's your vice principal, one of the assistant principals. It's right there. Tanya Branham. So they don't work there, and it's in your website. Okay, fine. Thanks. Do not let that happen to you at graduation, because you know what's going to happen if you do not let Mr. Tao know, he's going to be reading your names at graduation, um, how to say your name properly, he's going to mess it up, not on purpose, but because you may have a name that's not easy to pronounce, or easy to, it may not be pronounced the way that it's written. Um, because, you know, we are a land of immigrants, and we, our names are derived from all over the world. And sometimes the, uh, the way they're spelled don't match up with don't, the way that doesn't match up with the way that um, you actually say it. So let's be very clear on this, all right? So let's look at a system. You can Google phonetics. You can um, take classes on phonetics, but it, it's get, it can get rather complicated. So let's keep it simple. Um, I'm going to show you a system that you can use to help Mr. Tao say your name correctly, all right? First, let's look at the vowels. You have soft vowel sounds and hard vowel sounds. Let's just keep this simple. At the top, you've got a horseshoe above each vowel. That, that indicates that those are soft vowels. You pronounce this one like a, eh, this one like e, eh, this one like e, eh, this one like a, eh, and this one like a. Uh. Down below, you pronounce this one. This is a hard vowel sound. You put the straight lines above it, and this is a, eh, this is e, and the i is, I think I'm pointing to it, the i is um, i. The o is o, and the u is u, like in cute. All right, and then down below, when your name has a sound like oo, just use a double O. So just two sets and then the oo. Let's show you how to use it. If you look right here, you've got, let's start off with the letter A. You have a little horseshoe above it. The soft sound A has a horseshoe above it, as in hat, a hat. The hard sound of A has the line across it, and just as in, same sound as in hate, A. Next vowel, E, the soft E with a horseshoe above it has the um, eh sound, as in pet. The hard sound of e has a straight line above it and has the hard sound, as in peat, e. The, I, uh, the uh, letter i, with the, the horseshoe above it, the soft sound has uh, the sound of i, as in kit. Hopefully you've seen a pattern that all I do is add an e on the end of the word to create the hard sound in, this, in these cases. Um, right here, you've got a, the letter I hard sound, as in kite, I, I. Here, you've got the uh, soft sound of O, so as in pop, so that's an A uh sound for the letter O. Then you have the hard sound of O, and you've got the straight line across, as in pope, O. Soft sound for you, as in cut, A. Uh. And hard sound for you, as in cute, ute, you, pitum. I mean, sorry. And then right here, you've got um, if you when you have the sound like the oo in boot, just do the double o to indicate that. All right. So let's recap that um, first sheet I showed you again: soft sounds with the horseshoe above it, hard sounds with the line across it, and then the oo sound with just a double o. Use that system, and so then when they read your name, they'll know. So, for instance, instead of saying Cockerham, like I did at the beginning, um, you're going to indicate just like this. Sell it, um, separate the syllables. They don't have to be perfectly separated. Just indicate them as much as, as best you can. Um, notice I, I put the soft, soft O at the beginning, cock, and then cur. Um, just obvious. I didn't put anything there because cur. Sometimes if it's obvious like that, just leave it. Cur. And then M with a soft E, so cockerim, cockerim. And notice it's not cur, not cockerim, it's not cockerim, it's cockerim. So I put it under, I underlined the stress syllable and put an accent above it to indicate that that is the stress syllable. You can just use an accent or the underline either way. All right? I said Branham because that's how it looks, Branham. 
It's not. You know, when I first met, met Miss Branham, I didn't. I had to. I think I asked her how to pronounce it. So um, right here, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have to ask her how to pronounce it if I had this right here. It says uh, I put the soft a. So I know that's an a sound. So Bran, and then m, the s sound for the e, the soft e, Branham. There's no H, so I didn't put the H there because you don't sound out the H. You just write what you hear or what you're supposed to hear when you say the word. All right? And notice I underlined it and add the accent. Let's go through these a little bit more quickly here. Misco, misco, I separated them. Notice the stressed syllable, soft I at the beginning, hard O at the end. Misco. Zitlo, I took the, um, the hard E, Z E E, and then the hard O, low. Separated the syllables. Underline and accented the stress syllable. My own name, you don't pronounce my H, so I didn't put it in there. You don't pronounce the E, I didn't put it in there. Soft I, wit, it, it, hard O, more, O, O, more. That's all I needed, and I separated the syllables. Um, let's see here. Giovanni is uh, my, one of my students from Brazil. It's pretty, most people know how to say that, but if you don't, don't ever assume. Don't ever assume. I have a J E, hard E, G, hard O, O. Soft O, va, va, like in, like in um, not or mop or ah, all right, and then ni, hard E, Giovanni. And notice I added the, made it the stress syllable here, so they know it's not Gio, Giovanni. They know it's not Giovanni. They know it's not Giovanni. They know it's Giovanni. They know that's where the, the stress is when they say it, when Mr. Tao says it, all right? Um, and for my native speakers, uh, si, eres, si eres hispano y... Uh, ¿Quieres que yo, perdón, que se pronuncie tu nombre correctamente? Pasa por mi cuarto, pasa por mi salón, C-112, y te ayudaré with everything, all right? I'll help you with that, for my native speakers. So just come by um, C-112 for any of my native speakers, uh, C-112, and I'll help you guys out with that, all right? Um, if there's any questions, um, please go to, actually, Ask any of your teachers, and also look right here, this shirt right here I put. Go to this, put this in the search engine on YouTube, and this video should show up, and you can watch it again if you've forgotten what I told you. All right? Be good. Peace.